Welcome back, everybody. I'm the Dr. Bob Lee from 107.5 WPLS, and we've got you covered. Our next guest is the project director for Bronx Health Reach, and she joins the program to speak about the, the ways that her organization is servicing our community and to highlight why voting will play an important role in creating a healthier Bronx. So please welcome to the show, Charmaine Rudder. Charmaine, welcome. Thank you so much for having me on. Good morning, good morning, good morning. So your organization has been around for a while. Um, it, it has changed throughout the years. Um, talk about a little history, about some of the history of your organization and what it's doing now. Sure. So Bronx Health Reach is a 22-year-old community coalition led by the Institute for Family Health. Um, we are focused on addressing racial and ethnic health disparities in the Bronx with a partic paying particular attention to increasing healthy eating and physical activity and the creation of a community environment that supports these behaviors. Bronx Health Reach is part of the CDC, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention national effort, um, REACH, which stands for Racial and Ethnic Approaches to Community Health to eliminate racial and ethnic health disparities. This was started in 1999 and we have been part of that initiative since then. Yeah. Um, recently, I would, by recently, I mean maybe six, seven years ago, in addition to the work that we have been doing to encourage people to eat healthier, to encourage people to be more physical act, physically active, to um, work with other organizations and agencies to create opportunities for those increased health behaviors. We've added to our portfolio of work, um, the Not 62 campaign for a healthy Bronx. Ah. And that campaign comes ah. out of the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation in collaboration with the University of Wisconsin has right. been doing a annual report ranking each state and the counties within each state in terms of their health outcomes and the factors that contribute to those health outcomes. In, in, in that ranking report. In, in, in terms of their what? In terms of their health outcomes and the factors that contribute to those health outcomes. Got it. And you've grown um, very well. Um, you have over 80 community-based organizations under you now. That's correct. As part of our, um, the community coalition in the work that we've been doing, moving from where we first started with very discrete initiatives around um, education, you know, nutrition, education, some physical activity to broaden our scope significantly, look at the policy and the systems that can create the environment, as I said, and then looking at um, both more than a decade ago, the World Health Organization started to point us towards us in the public health arena and others towards the social and economic determinants of health, right? Yeah. What beyond just um, healthy food and whatever, what are the factors that are contributing to people either being very healthy or people not being healthy? Yeah. And so that has, that has informed the work that we've been doing. But more recently, um, a colleague of, of Bronx Health Reach, and Bronx Health Reach is part of the National Reach Coalition, wrote and published last year a seminal work on the political determinants of health. Uh -huh. And so that has informed sort of what the coalition has been looking at in addition to the, our other work this year. Mm -hmm. And... Health Reach was uh, recognized uh, as a uh, center of excellence in elimination of disparities yes. by the Center for Disease Control and Prevention. That's yes. wonderful, congratulations. Thank you, yes. It, it is um, a reflection of the work that our community partners have been really um, doing. And along with Bronx Health Reach's partners and other folks in the Bronx, We've seen even in the Robert Wood Johnson County Health Rankings report where the Bronx is ranked 62 out of the 62 counties in New York State, which means we are at the bottom. Even yeah. in that report, we have seen where health behaviors 
is one of the few areas that we have seen a radical improvement in our rankings. So altogether, it reflects um, what one of our, our coalition leaders have always said, people who know better, do better. It's the area where we don't have control. It's the social and economic behaviors where we don't have control, the social and economic factors that our elected leaders and those who make policy decisions can yes. have the impact that will ultimately improve our outcomes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you came up with a, uh, your organization came up with a, a, a not 62 initiative. Right. So to be fair, we are one of a number, right? We are one of the founding members. So along with us, the Bronx Borough President's Office Yes. is also a founding member the bronx health action center then called the bronx district public health office is another founding member montefiore is also um, a member as well um about seven years ago the the bronx district public health office um, called on a number of their community partners to participate yeah. in a video that they were shooting um, money came from the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation to shoot a video on the county that is ranked at the very bottom. And that's where um, folks like me first found out about the report. And so we shot that video, but then we decided that shooting the video was not enough. We yeah. needed to join forces to address why we're 62 and to improve on our 62 outcomes. And that was the start of the Not 62 campaign for a healthy Bronx and the steering committee that's helping to yeah. direct it. Which included uh, healthy eating, healthy living and all that. Now, election right. day, the second, is so very, very important for people to stand up and go to the ballot box. How important is voting in creating a healthier Bronx? It is critical, Dr. Lee, and that's why I mentioned that while we have seen this radical improvement in the health behaviors of many Bronx sites, um, it's the social and economic factors that are outside our control, that's within the purview of our elected officials and the decision makers and the policy makers, right? It's within their purview. And therefore, we have connected that, as I said, um, putting it under this label, the political determinants of health. And that's why we say, we are saying voting matters. You're voting in in the November 2nd elections next Tuesday, you're voting for the new leadership that will either be a major mover and shaker in making the Bronx better or will keep us um, at 62. And for those of us in the Bronx, Dr. Lee, it is unacceptable to even contemplate that we will continue to be 62 and not be prior if we're not prioritized by the new leadership that will be coming on board. All righty. Um, talk about some of the um, the uh, programs that you offer within this organization that you, you're working with, briefly. So, as I mentioned, um, Bronx Health Reach is doing a number of things, but with for the 62 campaign, we have um, a work group. We call it the Health Disparity Work Group, a subset in the coalition. And what that group has done has said. In addition to all the work that we're doing around the healthy eating, increasing physical activity, et cetera, let's also look at some of the other factors, some of the other areas that are not the natural place that Bronx Health Reach has inhabited over yeah. the last 20 years. And coming out of that discussion and that work, they identified three areas. They're not all encompassing, but three areas that we have been we have included in what we call our ask of our elected officials. Uh -huh. And those three areas are in health, naturally, but in health, we're looking at um, encouraging the expansion of the NYC CARES initiative and the public support for the New York Health Act. Um, and now the second area is housing. Um, we have a significant lack of affordable housing in a borough that's the poorest congressional district in the country. So affordable housing is a challenge for us. That's a big and one. And then we also have economic development. There you go. Is all of this in uh, within a website that you guys have? It is in um, 
our, we are new, putting a new landing page in the Bronx Health Reach website that will um, showcase the, the ask of elected officials. And that will be, do you have it? Do you have the www.bxhealthreach.org? Right. Be in there? Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. bxhealthreach.org. Charmaine Ruddick, yes. Project Director, Bronx Health Reach. Thank you so much for being with us. And you're always welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Lee. Thank you very much. Remember, go out and vote. Our health, it, it is our voice and it is a way to improve our health. Thank you again for having me on. Yes, yeah, so you're so very welcome. All right, that about does it for us. Uh, wow, funny how time flies when you're having fun. You're disseminating a, disseminating a lot of great information. But thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, thank you. We want to thank our guests for and viewers for tuning in and checking it all out. And thank you for letting us share in this space and time with you. Always remember this, what you are is God's gift to you and what you make of yourself is your gift to God. So choose your choice and let the choice control the choose it. For all of us here at BronxNet, have a great and enjoyable day. And I'll see you over 107.5 WBLS. I love you all. Peace.